Steve Kerr was doing his like exit sort of interview with the media and Perloff, we all knew, we all knew at s- in some way, in a big way, the Draymond preseason punch of Jordan Poole obviously like impacted the season, but to what degree here was Kerr admitting that it was, it was big. There's no hiding from it. The uh, the incident with Draymond um, and Jordan at the beginning of the year played a role in that. Um, it's hard for that not to impact a team. Um, anytime some trust is lost, um, then it, it makes the process much more difficult. And there was some trust lost. Um, and that's um, as blunt as I can be. I mean, it's hard to say, like, is that the reason that they lost to the Lakers in six? But, I mean, we all knew something was weird about this team. They should have been a tight-knit group considering they had just come off of winning a title together. And, in fact, the opposite was true. Yeah, but here's my question, though. Is it the emotional stuff and the mental stuff, or was it kind of lack of talent? In the sense that they they keep screwing it. They've made a lot of bad personnel decisions, including pay, paying Jordan Poole. Paul did score 20 points a game. Was it really, Was this a matter of trust or the fact that they, they came out uh, in a series against the Lakers and just did not they didn't have the size? Like, they, they just constructed a bizarre roster, yeah. it seems to me. Well, and guess, last year they got away yeah. with it because there was no real competition in the West. Right, right. I, I get what you're saying, but it's, it's weird to say it was a title team. We brought back everybody, right? And now we fell short, and but it wasn't didn't... because of like a major injury. I mean, yes, Wiggins was away from the team, but it wasn't because like, oh, obviously, like Steph Curry got hurt and didn't play for three months or something. Nothing obvious besides the off the court stuff. But they didn't feel like they got mm, the might sound right, but they didn't fail so spectacularly. They got to game right. seven, game six, game six yeah. over the second round, and this really. I guess they only won 45 games this year. So, but it wasn't, did you come into this postseason and say, well, this, this Warriors team is unbeatable. It felt like the cracks were there all season. So I wonder, to me, I understand this emotional stuff. I also think that maybe lack of talent as well, or am I being, am I fooled here? Was this team good enough? Is Jordan Poole good enough, regardless of what happened with Draymond? You no, know, well, I guess we're going to find out this year because this, this past season, the one that we just got through, that we're getting through now, he was obviously not good. But he had a couple high points through the season, but he was injured a little bit, and he just was he basically was relegated to garbage time in the playoffs in some games. Like, in some games, he wasn't playable. You know, there were games against the Lakers. He played 10 minutes and, had, you know, went 0 for 4 and stuff like that. It was just really bizarre. That, and he missed that buzzer beater, too, when the defense made sure that he had the ball in his hand because they double-teamed Steph. So that that was a big, big miss. That was a hard shot, but still. So what do you do with Draymond then? Because there's a lot of questions that have to be answered. But if you're acknowledging that the punch was one of the reasons why everyone was kind of off this year, let alone like the usual Draymond antics, you know, getting suspended for a game because he stepped on Sabonis and all the other things. Here's what Steve Kerr says about Draymond and how important he is to what they're doing. If Draymond's not back, we're not a championship contender. We know that. I mean, he's that important to uh, to winning and to uh, to who we are. Um, so I absolutely want him back. Is that true? I mean, I get it. I understand. I'm Kerr smart always, enough on basketball yeah. to understand what Draymond does. Kerr says this all the time. He always credits Draymond. But I ask you, like, are there more instances where Draymond's cost his team? I mean... We all know the big one when he kicked LeBron yeah. in the 2016 no, right. finals. It's just, you know, I, I just, I wonder, like, is that actually true? Like, does Steve Kerr just not want to see what life is like without Draymond Green? Probably because I'm sure he depends on him, not just on, co- on the court stuff, but, like, he's a guy who I'm sure Kerr can send messages through, you know? It's like, hey, I need you to get this message to the team. Well, I mean, just like, me. and uh, there's also the, the sheer logistics of who's going to cover the big man on the other team. And it's amazing that Draymond can still do that. Yeah. Uh, that That's where, imagine if Golden State had advanced and they were facing this Nuggets team. 
How on earth were they going to cover the Nuggets? I have no idea. I mean, they beat them soundly last year, but that was because you had no Yeah, Murray was Murray gone. And, and also, and Joker's way I, – I think Joker's a better player now. I don't exactly know how. He seems <laughs> way better in this playoffs than he was last year's playoffs. He's, he's been amazing. It just seems like every moment of the game he's dominating, which I don't – maybe I missed it, but I don't remember that last year. Yeah, I think that there's – Regardless of the punch or whatever, like they need to build something here. They're missing some players. So even if you, even if you bring back Draymond to this crew, is this enough? This core, Clay looks done. Yeah, he does. Steph's not getting any younger. He's getting a little old too. Well, they tried to do this sort of twin thing yeah. where they were going to rebuild yeah. and go for it at the same time. Turns out that's a bit flawed. And one of the things Kerr did say was because, like, the relationships take a long time. Like, it, he made it seem like the young guys are kind of over here doing their thing. Mm, and then the yep, older kind yep. of established guys are over here doing their thing. And I understand why that would work. I understand how that would work, rather. However, you just went through a title together. How did the team building and the team bonding like, if you're talking about, and he didn't say specifically, but I'm assuming he's talking about Poole, Kaminga, Moody. Like, if you're talking about the younger guys, they had opportunities to bond. They had opportunities to to all become one team. And I guess it just never happened. I mean, the ages are different. Obviously, Kaminga's 20 still. So how is he going to bond with a 35-year-old Steph Curry? Well, but that's also on Steph. Like, if we yeah. talk about Aaron Rodgers and how he needed to be – bonding more with no. the wide receivers and you know you got to make the effort i think brady makes the effort i think the older i think lebron makes the effort quite frankly i think the older guys have to you know bring the younger guys along yeah i don't i see that's why i'm trying to say i i think this mental emotional stuff is a big part of this but it doesn't it seem to if you just look at the warriors roster it's just not that because they missed on wiseman they probably missed on kaminga they made Moody was picked a little later. I don't know. They just need a couple more weapons right now, which makes no sense because they won the title last year. Right. Draymond basically said that they would have won the title this year if he hadn't hadn't gotten that fight with Poole. How? I just don't understand how they would have pulled this off. I uh, I mean maybe on on vibes like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean just... just bombing threes, but Clay can't bomb those threes anymore. Yeah, but I, I... I'm just wondering like what's the next step forward? I I don't see the easy path to another title. Okay, so Steve Kerr was asked about his contract also, which is also I guess in the mix. So we got a Draymond potential contract ex- extension they've got to think about. There's a Clay potential contract extension they have to think about. There's their general manager Bob Myers who is taking the next few weeks apparently yeah. to figure out if he actually wants to be the general manager of the team anymore. And there's a Steve Kerr contract thing. Here's what Kerr said. Our organization has a lot to sort through uh, this summer. And um, my contract situation is not, nor should it be, at the top of the list. Um, I, I expect them back, but, you know, who, who the hell knows? <laughs> I mean, really, who knows? Who knows who's making the decisions? And if that's really, like, even yeah. the way to go to keep this core together? 